the wonderful way that you've honored my wife and I here. This is probably the most important word God has given me in 34 years. It's beautiful and it's awesome. We were blessed to be with you Wednesday night, 4 o'clock, just after 4 o'clock in the morning, the Lord woke me up and said, get up, I'm going to talk to you. By the time I hit the kitchen, he exploded in anger over the devil. Over the years, God has done this before, I've never seen this. His fury waxed hot. He was angry and pushed to the limit. He said, this will never ever happen again. This ends tonight. This will never, never happen again. He took me to three areas, Washington, and then spiritual leaders over in the nation, and he came to you and to your church. And his heart was so tender. And he said to me, there have been times in the past when the devil will overstep his mark. For instance, when he challenged the Lord wanted to take over heaven, when he pushed Jesus to the cross. And because of the despair that he's in, because of the lateness of the hour and the revival that's about to hit this country and the world, the devil overstepped his mark. And God got angry. He overstepped his mark with you, and the Lord was furious. And God said to me to tell you, Pastor, never again will he touch you, sir. Never again. Never again. Never again. The devil is not free to do what he wants to. There are boundaries that God set for him. There are a perimeter he cannot step over. He stepped over that. And God got furious and hot. You know what he did? As I stood there, I saw him dropping down fire walls from this. I've never seen this before. All over the nation. Then right came here. Around the church. He dropped fire walls all around the church. He, 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 he came to you and your wife. He dropped fire walls around you and your children. Then he came to you again and he put a, a ring of fire around you. I said, Lord, what is that? I, 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 said, I, said, I said, what is that? He said, that is not just protection, that's the favor of the Lord. Then he said, I want to talk to you about this pastor. I said, yes, Lord, speak on. He said, he's called you. Now, you know this, but the people need to hear this, and the city needs to hear this. There are many elders in the city, but you, the head elder, God said you as the leading elder of the city. You're the apostle of the city. See, I didn't know these things. I don't know anything unless God tells me. <laughs> he, he said, he said and, and this is why, and, and, and your wife was talking about that pastor in Dallas that, that the devil tried to kill. The same thing because he's an apostle over that city. And, and so he, what the devil is after because he's so desperate is to take out the top government in the spirit, in the church, but also in politics. And he said to tell you, he will never, ever even look your way again. It's over. It's over. Besides the firewalls, he sent warrior angels to walk around you. And if a demon as much as look at you, that warrior angel will begin to move towards him. There is a war that's... He was furious. He was mad. Then he said this, and this is the message for you. The Lord said, I raised up this church. And then he, he went back to you. He said, your authority is not only over the church and over the city. No, 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 no. The Lord said, I said you, this is the capital city. I said you, sir, as the spiritual government of the state of California. I'm telling you, Pastor, what the boss said. I will guarantee, yeah, I'll guarantee 34 years of ministry on this. And I said, Lord, I will do you justice. He was, for three hours he went on. He, I thought he's never going to quit. I thought he's going to burn, he's going to burn down into hell and burn the devil. He was furious. I've never felt such anger from God ever before. He's so mad at what the devil tried to do to you and your staff. And, and some time ago, uh, several times, even in the last 5, 8, 10, 12 years, he's come against you. This is over, sir. This is over. This is over. Now, here is, 
Here is the message. Let, let, let me go as quickly as I can. Here is the message for you. You need to know that this is the spiritual seat of government, this church right here, for this city and for this state. And God will soon open up doors and places all over this state to you to start taking back not just the city, but to start make, taking back this, this state. And that's why the devil's after you so hard, not just because you're the leadership of the city, but you're the leadership of the state. You are the spiritual government. There's a governor in the city. You're the governor, the spiritual governor of the state. Now, it is time. Somebody say it's time. It's time. Ezekiel 47, the rivers flow from the house. There's a blessing that's about to start flowing from this house. And, and your part is this, is to begin to call back the sheep. You know, sheep go astray. That's, that's what they do. To call back to this house in the city the sheep that are supposed to be here that have gone astray. Not just numbers, I heard the Lord say, not just numbers, but real members. Not just numbers, but real members. And the Lord will again fill this house with real members in the Spirit. And the blessing of God will come from this church here and from this platform and from you and flow to them. There's a new flow of financial prosperity I mentioned Wednesday night. It's about to hit this nation and about to hit the state. It'll flow. I'm telling you right now, it'll flow from this house. Now, can I be African for a moment? Can I be an African for a moment? Get your butt in here. You tell the sheep that are gone astray. You want to be blessed. You want to be healed. You want to be whole. You want to prosper. Get your butt in here. God is about to do a new thing in this house. Get your butt in here. And when you get in here, put some glue under your butt and sit it down because the blessing of God will come from this platform and from this leader. Hallelujah. And even some of you in time to come, God will send you out all over the state and you'll help to bring this state to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord. Glory to God forevermore.